Drought in the western United States is forcing farmers, ranchers, cities, and homeowners to look for water wherever they can find it. One source of water increasingly being looked at is old wells that have been taken out of service. There are many reasons wells are taken offline. A common problem is too much sand in the water. The solution is often a downhole sand separator. Downhole separators have been used since the 1940s. They don't have moving parts or screens to get clogged. They use centrifugal action to filter sand from well water before it reaches the pump. Not only does this protect the pump impellers from abrasive sand, but it keeps sand out of the water system, keeping drip lines, sprinklers, and faucets flowing freely. Without a separator, sandy water creates a host of potential problems. Worn and damaged pumps are not only expensive to repair or replace, but they're less efficient, causing unnecessary increases in energy consumption. And a damaged pump is more prone to breakdown, leading to unwanted downtime and potential crop loss. Downhole sand separators are attached below the pump or the bowls on turbine pumps and remove sand from water before it enters the pump. Head pressure pushes sandy water through the tangential inlet slots in the separator. This creates a cyclone of water that tosses the heavier sand to the perimeter. As the sand spins down the separator barrel, it hits a spin plate at the bottom of the separator and falls into the purge chamber. The clean water then passes through the center vortex and up out of the well. When the pump stops pumping, gravity drops the sand into the bottom of the well. The question gets asked, won't the sand fill up the well? Most of the time, if the well is deep enough under the pump, this isn't a problem. Thousands of wells use downhole sand separators without filling up. Downhole sand separators are a simple, proven, effective solution to get sandy wells back online. If you have a well that was abandoned because of sand, a downhole separator may be what you need to get the water flowing again.